Working with Skipjacks of Deal Island is my book about the Skipjacks from Deal Island that worked in the winter of 2016. It's a book about the Skipjack beyond the Skipjack Day races. It's what they do for a living. They only go out once a year uh, during the oyster season from the 1st of November till the end of March. And I wanted the public to really see what life was like on a Chesapeake Bay Skipjack. I did this book because there is no other definitive book about skipjacks on the market. I was shocked to find this out myself. I've heard people say there are hundreds of books. You'd be very hard pressed to find five books on the internet. I don't even know how many of them out of the five that you might find that are devoted exclusively or solely to a skipjack life. Um, I, I wanted to document and, and preserve as much of the Eastern Shore skipjack culture as I could, so that's why I undertook this project. It's uh, 650 photographs, 350 pages, showing the skipjack as very few people have ever seen it before. Even people who are familiar with skipjacks probably have never seen the many facets or, or aspects, perspectives of the skipjack that are contained in this book. I would like people, when they buy this book, to look at this book slowly, page by page, and relate to what they're seeing. A way of life from the Eastern Shore that goes back to 1890, there were thousands of skipjacks on the bay. Now there's probably 12 working the bay, dredging oysters. This is an opportunity for the reader to come up, to get close and personal with life on a skipjack. I do not know how long this can possibly last. It costs so much to maintain these skipjacks. Half a million dollars to, to build a new one, $375,000 to repair them. Uh, the oyster industry is going through a lot of changes and I just don't know how much longer this can last. And I want people to see what a skipjack is really all about.